Welcome back, Gun Talkers. We're at SHOT Show 2018, and right now we're talking ammo with Boyd Metz of HSM Ammunition. And some of the stuff they've been coming out with, Boyd, it is amazing stuff. Thanks, Kevin. It's good to be here. Good to be with you. And we're real excited about this year in particular. This is our 50th year in business. Right. 50, uh, 50 years now. The SHOT Show's been going on 40 years. Yes, sir. You've hit every single shot show is that right no we didn't make all the shot shows early on they weren't well attended at the beginning back right. in 1979 and it was actually in st louis and uh, a small company trying to get our feet on the ground and it's just been about the last 10 years that we've become active in the shot show actually really yeah our products uh, have developed and our name has become more more known to the consumers and it's 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 been a good time. So we're although we're new to right. the show, we are in our 50th year in business. 50 year, and you don't get through 50 years of business by being subpar because you guys have got some great stuff, and you build your reputation on accuracy. Exactly. That's been that's been Bill Campbell's primary goal is to build good accurate ammunition. Bill's a hunter, uh, precision shooter. And he's just strived to make sure that the products that we put out there for our customers right. are accurate. Above all else, accurate and reliable. And we like to think we've done a tremendous job along with developing new products. Uh, one of the newest things that we're really excited about, we've got low recoil ammunition. Now, for those of you that aren't real familiar with it, it's ammunition that was designed with a reduced amount of recoil. You know, it's good for young shooters. I have a little 11-year-old girl from Nebraska, and she shot her mule deer this year with our 243 low recoil. And I remember her dad said to her, uh, we're, time, we're going out and sight the gun in. And she said, well, Dad, can we use that ammunition? It doesn't kick a whole lot. Yeah, because <laughs> that tends to be a problem with young shooters. Sure. And, and that, um, that builds bad habits when you've got a hard-hitting round. Um, and I think you guys would agree this is a great ammo to start youth out on and, and because it's not going to beat them up. And they can shoot larger calibers as they grow and still not yep. get the recoil, and that will build great habits. Well, the other thing about it is it's kind of like a life circle. The young shooters can use it as a starter, and then us old shooters. I kind of get tired of recoil, Kevin. Well, <laughs> you get tired of recoil, but I do too, and I mean – yeah, okay, I'm probably old, older than most people think. But I, lo I value my shoulders, especially as I grow older. You know, I don't, I don't want problems occurring and, you know, relapsing and, and creating exactly. those bad habits that I might have had when I was younger. But, you know, if you're tuning in live right now, we're talking to Boyd Metz of HSM Ammo. If you guys have ballistic questions, this is the man. Uh, he's he's fine-tuned in the art of uh, ballistics. So low recoil, we had a, a shoot quite a, quite a while back that we were uh, using an optic, and and when you'd shoot, like it, the optic would adjust. And, and so we dropped down to the low recoil, and actually it was so pleasant to shoot, we were able to go out that night, go hog hunting, and, I mean, it performs well. It's not necessarily only about recoil. This Sierra bullet, really does perform on big game animals. Absolutely. The, the bullet's a proprietary bullet that was designed by Sierra for us. It's a tip bullet. We recommend a range of no more than 300 yards. But in the real world, right. we all know that very few game species are shot at the range greater than maybe 150 right. yards. And this bullet will perform reliably out to 300 yards. I mean, in your, when you're talking about 300 yards, you're primarily talking about those western hunters but right. you know 300 yards is a long shot and, yeah. and the ballistics uh that you're getting out of this really does perform and this isn't the only new thing that you guys really released this year and and you guys are advertising this as 53 percent less felt recoil yep on, Ma on across measured, the board right measured products you can see in our catalog we've we've tested it and those are measured figures right. of reduced recoil and speaking of long range i'm certain you've yes. all you've all heard <laughs> you've all heard of burger bullets well yes. here it is we are at present time the only company that loads burgers vdl hunting ammunition 
which is a phenomenal round, oh. especially for those guys. When I first heard about Burger Bullets, it was the long-range guys getting big-time knockdown shots. That's exactly right. That's that's where they're they made their niche in the marketplace. Right. With the long range, the 12, 1500 yard shots, uh, there's just a, as you can see in the gun world, the long range guns have become extremely oh, my popular. Gosh, yes. And I mean, they're, they're a big selling product. And we make this hunting round with the Burger Bullet and our trophy gold. We named it, and it's just been phenomenal. It is a, it's, it's a bullet that performs right. at long distances on any North American species, yes. and we make it in a wide variety of calibers. We're limited to some degree with a low recoil. We make this in, in the seven primary calibers right. that, are, that are most popular. Right. But in the Burger Bullet Trophy Gold, Oh, gosh, I guess we have probably 16, 17. 16 caliber, ca yeah. caliber offer offerings for right. the HSM and the Burger Bullets. And exactly. And, and uh, So you guys are the only ones producing their VLD. We are the only ones at this time using the VLD hunting bullets. Really? They make two. They make their match bullets. Right. Uh, but these are the hunting bullets that we're using. Right. So, and, uh, so what guy would you say is going to steer towards the Burger Bullets? I mean, what... When you're looking at this and a guy's going down the ammo aisle and, and going and selecting ammunition, if he looks at this HSM with the burger bullet, like why would he purchase that? Well, he's the guy that's going to go out and set for hours glassing. Okay. <laughs> he's he's, he's going to get eye fatigue looking for something to shoot right. at 500, 600, 700 okay. yards. And that's where he wants to take an animal. Yeah. And there's there's a just a growing popularity in long range hunting. Oh, absolutely. And particularly in the Midwest, and then heading out into the western states where you can do that. So, that's that's the guy that's going to do it. And then you take the fellow that wants to have a good clean shot and a good clean kill at 100 yards. The bullet will perform right. there. It performs just as well at 150 yards. Yes. As it does out to, you know, Absolutely. Those extended range of six to seven to 800 yards. Absolutely. I mean, the, the design of the bullet is unique. The performance of the bullet is outstanding. And with our, our refined loading techniques, it's extremely accurate. And once again, I'm harping on, on this <laughs> it's, accuracy. It's thing. accuracy. It, it's what matters. I mean, if you, can, if you can combine all the components, including the rifle, it puts less pressure on the shooter. And everyone obviously likes to see that one-inch group when they go out to the range. Because it looks pretty. Oh, yeah. But, but man, because sure. what happens is, is it, what happens with me, if I shoot a really great group and I'm really proud of it, you know, those one-hole groups, which you guys are getting out of these. Oh, yeah. Uh, you take it and you show people. And that's one of the greatest, that's one of the best benefits of this ammunition is because you can take it out and you can go, hey, look at this. And they, the first thing they ask is not, Oh, what gun were you shooting? It's what ammo were what you ammo? shooting? <laughs> yeah. All right. So what else do we have here? Because this isn't all that you guys are putting out no. there. We've got the bear load. And, and the bear load, it, it's a name, but it was designed a little bit with the Alaska people in mind. Okay. You know, shooting grizzlies, and as you know, most of the guides up in the north are concerned with grizzly bears. For good, for very good reason. They like the taste of human beings. Yes. It seems <laughs> like. <laughs> be bear aware out there. I mean, if yeah. you guys are listening live, just let's be bear aware. Be bear aware. Bear loads from HSM. This is uh, a bullet that we worked up. HSM worked up and designed, controlling the tin, the antimony, and the lead mixture. Okay. To give it a certain amount of hardness, that will not lead up their guns. Number one. Number two, that it'll work in their guns accurately. And number three, that it'll effectively dispatch, Hit their target and dispatch the target. Right. So when you're talking about the bear load, really, I mean, the shots are going to be close most of the times. Because, you know, um, a lot of guys I see, um, you know, in the fishing world, they'll be fishing, but they've got backup. They oh, yeah. have to have backup, and that's where this comes into well, play. Well, yeah. Uh, we do make... Because one of the popular calibers for the bear, the people that are concerned about bears, the guides in particular, is 4570. Yes. So we do make it in 4570, but the other calibers are handgun calibers: 454 Casul, 500 Smith and Wesson, 44 Magnum. Right. Those and 357 Magnum also. Some of the guys carry a lighter handgun, but 
the the guides and the Canadian people north of the border like it, plus the fact that there's a lot of growth in handgun hunting. Absolutely. And here in the here in our area, back east where the shots are closer on average, maybe 50 yards or, or ranges that are much closer than out west, this is a perfect load. It's it, it's a it's a good performance load. Are you getting? Are you making it for like 460 for handgun loads? Ah, uh, yeah. 460 yeah. and 500 uh, Smith and Wesson, all those good, yes, good gun loads. Yes, sir. We are. That's and uh, it's and 44 uh, Magnum. I know you guys offer that as well. Yeah, 460, 45, 454 Casul, 45 Colt, 44 Magnum, 41. 10 millimeter, which is coming oh, on strong. Now that yeah. is huge. Yep. I did not know you guys were offering yeah. a 10 millimeter. We are offering it now in 10 millimeter for about the last oh six eight months, and it's it's been a big hit with everybody. And uh, there's a lot of development with the 10 millimeter guns. Right. And one of the things, the normal lead bullet, which is softer, you probably know most semi-automatic guns, they don't recommend, or they even say you'll void the warranty if you use a lead bullet. Mm -hmm. This combination of tin antimony with the lead makes the bullet hard enough, almost equal to the hardness of a copper jacket. Oh, so, so you're getting you're getting a hard and not having to go with the. That's right. We're not letting up their guns. Right. We're not we're not creating pressure problems or anything of that nature because of leading, and uh, it's it's just been a great success. How are you guys testing this stuff? Because, I mean, there's got to be well, some type of test where, you know, you're shooting through, you know, something hard. We, or do, we do pressure gel testing, and we do all our velocities are checked on radar. You know, okay. The, you know, we don't use the, the chronographs. Right. <laughs> chronographs are good, but in today's age, they've kind of, they've kind of gone away a little right. bit in, in our position. So everything that we do, you know, we test with radar and the distances vary depending on which ammunition it is some of the stuff we're obviously with our low recoil we're we're checking that we were checking the velocities right. at 300 yards to see what it is because sierra told us what the where at what range the bullet will perform okay so we want to make sure that our loadings met their requirements for performance of the bullet okay now we've got one more we're going to talk about and uh, now this is interesting yeah this has been around a long time, Blitz King, this bullet. And we've used it over the years quite a bit. It's a varmint bullet, and varmint season's just around the corner as far as the little creatures go. No, it is right now because yep. I mean, I'm, I'm itching to get out there. I'm itching to crank up the game call and start hunting those little critters. Right, and it, it works great for coyote hunters. They're very pleased. All of the AR platforms in 223 uh, are pleased with the performance of this bullet it's once again sierra has just done a great job and that's why we've developed a real ongoing right. partnership with them and so you're you're looking at your 204s your 22 250s yes, yes. 223s yep even the swift even the swift yeah it uh, we loaded in the swift and uh the the little bullet is just uh a flying hand grenade for yes. lack of a better <laughs> it term. really is but you're going to get that internal you know you're going to get the internal you know results that you really want exactly but then man if you're a guy who loves those pelts you're not going to get the, yeah. that type of expansion sometimes well but the prairie dogs uh well the prairie <laughs> dogs you're not we don't worry about those guys i'm thinking about those coyote hunters well, and the coyote that. hunters. i don't know what pelts are worth nowadays <laughs> but uh yeah you need to be just a little bit careful with some of these because yeah. they are they're they, hot they, rounds they are pelt damaging <laughs> so to speak but well, last the last thing along the, the handgun line that I didn't mention, we make a cowboy load. And cowboy load, a lot of people think, well, geez, I have to be a, a cowboy shooter. No. You have to be someone that doesn't like a lot of recoil, someone that likes an accurate round. Okay. And so far you're describing me. <laughs> and, and someone that wants to uh, not spend a lot of money. And that, that, that's me. Ah, like, uh, that, that's totally me. Well, I'm, yeah, a, mind, kinda, I'm a mind reader, you are. Kevin. But our cowboy loads are designed to do all of those things for the consumer. Right. And it's, it's just a great load, uh, great performing load, nothing, uh, nothing spectacular other than back to our accuracy factor, our performance reliability, and price point ammunition yep. and that that's the whole 50-year anniversary for you guys yes. i mean how did 
going back to the 50 year anniversary because it's so big how did you guys really get your start what what were some of the first few introductions that you guys did oh see now i'm putting <laughs> you on the spot but what did you guys get your start in in obviously not cowboy action I no mean, no it was all based off the hunting market and all really standard standard components uh bill and Catherine campbell uh started the company uh bill's wife Catherine, who i just spoke to on the phone today she's she's retired uh bill's still active in the fact that he does he does bench testing he just walked yeah, by he just walked by yeah, and yeah. you were like hey hey there's bill count and i'm yeah. like the guy yeah well i told him i was going to put him on camera and then he said he was running away so. well yeah because I, I he disappeared pretty quickly yeah, so yeah, so i can't get him over here <laughs> to talk with me but bill does a lot of the testing a lot of the developing he's very familiar with pressure and velocities and bullet performance so the company started out that way and once again he felt the only way he could get into the market is with an accurate product right so the basic calibers, which was 30 out six and uh, no, 270, two, 270 yeah. yeah, and maybe the 300 Win Mag, those those early old reliable calibers that have, everybody's tried to reinvent them a thousand times, yep. but they still are good. I mean, whether it's an out six or right. or a 270, they've just been around forever. Yeah. I mean, Tom knows that. Tom and I oh, talked absolutely. on the radio before about this. But that was that was the main crux of, of the company, and it grew because of the quality of the products, and at fair prices. Oh, absolutely! Well, we love we love what you guys are doing. HSM has been in business 50 years strong, and they keep innovating. They keep growing their product line to offer better accuracy for you shooters out there. Boyd Metz, HSM Ammo, he knows what's going on. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>